We've got new tools and technologies to make your life easier in the lab. I'm with Pat Bennett here at ASMS, and we're in the Thermoscientific Technology Exhibit. Pat, you're an expert in pharmaceutical mass spectrometry, and we're really putting a focus on biopharmaceuticals. Can you talk about that? It's a, a relatively new area in, t in, in terms of uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific, but it's really designed so that we can focus and meet the market needs, specifically in the biopharmaceutical workflows. Now, we're famous for our instrumentation, mass specs and such, really a whole workflow for proteomics and a wide range of really high-end research. How does our technology and expertise really apply here? It's a perfect uh, segue. This area really grew out of the proteomics market and then it migrated into the pharmaceutical or the biopharmaceutical large molecule drug development. So the tools, the science, and the theory behind the proteomics workflows actually transfer very well and then get applied very focused and specific to answer specific questions within the biopharmaceutical area. Unlike small molecules, large molecules are heterogeneous. They're, they're, they're mixture of analytes that are very similar and, and, and related and it's very important to identify what parts of those are different and important biologically. And why do we have an advantage for our customers? The high resolution mass spectrometry is, is by far the biggest advantage. The sensitivity for our instruments, the mass resolution, the ability, the flexibility of the instruments for these scientists to do experiments that just were not even possible for or are not even possible with the competing instruments. So with this Orbitrap inside technology, what about software? Can you talk about the workflow? Again, it's very similar to the proteomics, but the proteomics is much more flexible and research oriented. Biopharmaceuticals, what they're going to do is take that flexible research component and now they need to make it more routine. Even though it's research, it's routinely applied to their research. So it's real important that we take that software and make it easier to use and focus specifically on answering their challenges as opposed to pure research. So where is this going in the future? It's really going to go more towards uh, similar to what Small Molecule did, really. What, how can we make these drugs get on the market faster? How can we identify bad drugs or identify what's right about a drug and come out with more therapeutic agents for those diseases? Learn more. Visit planetorbitrack.com.